Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? My name is Billify, and today we are here to counter a glove. Which glove is that? Why, of course, the Rob glove. Alrighty, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are joined by just the person on the web nine. Thank you so much for coming out and helping me. I very much appreciate you. And thank you so much to Kryptonol. Thank you so much for coming out and helping me test out these counters. These are two massive W people right here. They are awesome. Let's get into this. <laughs> Alrighty, so for the first counter on this list, we are gonna have ourselves the default glove. Believe it or not, if you use Robin, try to chase down a default, and they are running away, they can use their fart blast ability to escape. So, default is absolutely a counter. That's crazy. Default hasn't been a counter in so long. <laughs> but W default, right next to it, we have the diamond, and you can use any one of these rocks to avoid the Bob glove, or the Rob glove, I'm so sorry. Probably gonna say Bob a couple times. <laughs> But yeah, diamond should absolutely work. Custom and mega rock will all work against this glove. As soon as they pop it, guess what? You can't- Oh, you can go through the rock. I didn't know you could go through the rock. That's pretty nifty. What happens if you sit here in the end? Oh, no, nothing happens. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the chat. He's like, my eyes, they burned. <laughs> it does turn the user's screen white, so you could kind of, I guess, troll in that sense. <laughs> so with the next glove on the list, we have Flash. Any glove that is going to give you speed is going to be ideal for this fight. So Flash will absolutely be a counter. I'll show you a quick clip. All you have to do is just outrun the Rob user. The Flash user with such a vast ability will easily be able to outrun a Rob user. Look at that bull background. That's so sick. You could always use Ghost to be invisible and sneak up on the goobers but if they're in their rob form definitely don't what you're gonna use ghost for is you're gonna slap them then you're gonna go invisible as you run away because they're gonna be very angry when they pop rob <laughs> thanos can work actually as a counter all you have to do is set your waypoint and then when you're fighting them as soon as you see them pop rob lead them away from where your teleport is pop your teleport and go to the other side of the map by the time they reach you they won't have their teleport ready so now the thanos user is running away running away running away so they pop their ability and guess what you can't catch up by the time you get all the way back over to remotely near them guess what your ability is over and that's it Thanos is a counter in that sense so we have Zahanda with this brand new ba <laughs> art background <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. But my question for Zahando is can you pull a Rob user and possibly kill somebody with it? Oh, uh, no. Nope. Now can you Zahando another user into the Rob glove? You can. Whoa, it gives the user Mega Ragdoll, but that's hilarious. That could be used as a combo. <laughs> Moving on to Pusher. Can can Rob go through a Pusher wall? And they phase right through the wall. <laughs> So Rob counters Pusher. So the next glove that you could use for a counter is the Space Glove. All you have to do is activate your ability and just jump up in the air and you can lose them. You go up in the sky, it should waste their ability long enough for you to survive. And they're like, oh no, we gotta get it, we gotta skedaddle. <laughs> so they run away. You typically don't want to go in like the same straight line, but you see just how long that ability lasts. If you can stay in the air for long enough, you can escape. So space works as a counter. Just make sure that if you have a Rob user chasing you, let the chase go on just for a little bit and then use the ability. And by the time you drop, their ability should be ending. You can absolutely use dream as a counter. This is a massive counter. Rob cannot catch a dream user at all. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Th they could just toy with you. You're nowhere near able to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> so the next glove that we're trying out here is golden with a new background banner. Does the golden ability save you from a rob? I kind of think it will not. <laughs> oh, golden's ability will save you. Oh, it does. Wow. You're definitely going to want to use it after you've been being chased for a little bit because rob does last longer than golden. But that's crazy. They're saying even when you're in golden though, when rob gets close to you, it makes their screen so white. <laughs> Is it the greatest counter? No, definitely not, but it will work. I want to give a quick shout out to the squid background. That is so cool. I love the squid. <laughs> now, what about Cheeky, huh? You can outrun a Bob with Cheeky. You don't want to roll into him because you can die to him like that. But with Cheeky, you can easily outrun a Rob. And there's nothing you can do as the Rob user to stop this. No cutoff lanes, nothing. Cheeky, in that sense, is a W counter. So now we're on Reaper. So if you are a Rob user and there is a Reaper timer on you, does it get rid of the timer until you get out of this interesting oh no no it doesn't ah so that's one way you can kill rob interesting so with reaper that is the first glove on this list that is able to actually kill rob now reaper is a counter in the sense if you have multiple slaps and you have a sped up reaper in its next phase you can escape with speed the earlier versions of reaper though absolutely not so keep that in mind but that's a really cool counter now the next counter here is super good replica why is that because you can send in your clone and the rob user will eat the clone and the ability will be over so this is a mega counter right here the rob user uses their ability they're waiting and they eat a clone 
<laughs> so replica is a massive massive counter yeah highly highly recommend replica do not use defense rob phases through defense do not use defense <laughs> so two gloves here that we're going to talk about kill streak the earlier stages of kill streak don't use the later phases of kill streak when they have a speed boost can outrun a rob user but other than that that's it for kill streak now reverse what happens if you reverse a rob this should be intriguing very very intrigued Ah, oh, i really wanted something to happen <laughs> <laughs> the user can't slap farm you after. How about that? <laughs> first things first, look at this duelist banner. That is sick. I'm a sucker for banner, so I'm like, this one's cool. This one's cool. That one's cool. All of them are cool. <laughs> oh, I'm the Oprah of banners. Banner thinker or banner likers. I don't know. Weird. We don't recommend duelists. The funny thing with duelists, though, is this clip here. What happens with duelists? <laughs> Nothing. What happens if you come out of the portal with Rob? <laughs> oh, you f oh, don't use Rob in the arena. Yeah, so definitely don't use Rob. I don't know if that's going to be patched in the future, but for now, don't use Rob in the duelist arena. <laughs> <laughs> so does Audios work in the same fashion that Thanos does? The one thing I'm scared for with Audios is your character stays in place instead of with Thanos as it's an instant teleport. You use the ability. Oh, nope. No Audios. Do not use Audios. <laughs> so for Audios to be even remotely close to working, you have to use the ability so early. It's just not worth it. It's not a counter. Use Thanos if you're going to use a glove like that. The Engineer banner got upgraded. Look at that. That's pretty sick. So what were to happen if you were to use Conveyor on a Rob before they use their ability? Oh, <laughs> kind of a counter when the rob user gets hit they're gonna want to try to see if they can find an area where they can slide and not get pushed off the map they have to angle themselves so conveyor with that knowledge it can be a counter but the thing here is if the rob user knows what's gonna happen they're not gonna use their ability and they're gonna wait for the conveyor ability to end which is a deterrent all you have to do is once you slap them put the pressure on chase them down that's all you have to do with conveyor keep them pressured make them force the ability hit make them force slide off the map the next counter on this list is balloony all you have to do is use some balloons and guess what goodbye go float away just don't get hit with that glitch <laughs> butterfly in the sky mode because uh you can't catch them rob cannot catch a user up in the sky they can kind of sit below and wait but all the user has to do is just time it out well and then uh, the ability's over so balloony massive w better space another glove that can counter this is phantom that's a cool background art don't think that's new i don't think i've talked about that but phantom yeah you can absolutely escape with phantom come here goober i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you where did they go where did they go oh we'll get this user oh oh, oh i see his text i was gonna say where did he go <laughs> But yeah, fan of for sure. So the track glove. I'm not sure if this is a new banner or not. It looks like it is to me. But this glove is kind of like a 50-50 deterrent. It's not a counter. You have to use it beforehand. I'll show you clip now. So what happens if a Rob user has a track glove on them? Does Rob take any sort of knockback? No, the track glove can't even hit it. It doesn't even register. So it sits there and it waits. But it'll wait for you to be out of your ability. And then it will still circle you. So ping pong is not a counter. It's just something you were going to chuck at them beforehand. What happens with baller? Doesn't even target Rob. But I think Rob... Rob, yeah, Rob can kill Baller. So Rob is a counter to Baller. Slicer isn't gonna hit a Rob user. It's just gonna be like ping pong. It's a deterrent beforehand. What happens if you use the stop time ability for God's hand while somebody's in Rob? Use time stop. Guess what? It's gonna run their ability down and they're not gonna be able to do anything about it. Now don't run into them as you will probably get eaten. I would assume. Maybe not. I don't know. But the ability does run out. <laughs> Next counter on our list is Acrobat. For sure Acrobat's gonna work. All you gotta do is run. Just run, Goober, run. <laughs> I'm gonna chase you down. Come here. Get back here. Get back here. You can't catch up. So Acrobat, definitely a W counter. Look at the plague background. That is sick. Also, did the Hollow Jacket updated? That looks new. Next up on the counter list, I'm actually intrigued to see if FaZe has the ability to escape this. I actually don't think it will. Oh, okay. Yep, phase absolutely works. And you can also speed away. So phase is an absolute W counter. I thought it was going to eat the phase, but it didn't. That one shocked me a little bit. The other one that's pretty cool is warp. That has a brand new banner. That's pretty sick. Warp will work halfway. You have to have a goober slapped prior with warp. So it's 50-50 because you're dependent on that. They can easily escape. All they have to do is just teleport to the user that they just slapped and hope that they're not near. But warp can work. It's 50-50 though because you need somebody else for it to work. The bomb, the bubble, the jet, the shard all got new banner changes that are all fire look at that those are sick whoever the artist is of these you do such a fantastic job but bomb bubble jet and shard are all deterrents before the rob uses their ability these are not counters <laughs> now with bob we know what happens with bob <laughs> 
So this is what happens when you combine the Rob and the Bob. They uh, form a pair, which forms a portal, which uh, in turn will kind of uh, yoink. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Colt banner change? That looks new. The buddies changed. I like the buddies one. That's sick. <laughs> Two buddies. What happens? Are we gonna have the same outcome with? Oh yeah. Same outcome with the block. It do not work. So we got our defenses set up. Or our block, sorry. Not defense. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if they run into the ability, yeah, they still get oofed. You can absolutely use rage if you're in your frenzy mode and sped up. You can outrun a rob user, but just base, not gonna happen. You can use the hybrid speed, the green ability, to outrun and evade a rob user. Now, can you use slapple to sit in a tree and avoid a rob user below you? So they're up there now. If I try to jump, no, I can't even clip on anything because I am rob. You will definitely be able to stay up there if you time it right. Now, if you are up there and there's a Rob already sitting beneath you, and it's been a minute like this, I'll show you what happens. You have to strategically use it, because if you just use it too early, the Rob user can sit beneath you and wait. And once they do that, you're kind of, uh, you're donezo. There's not much you can do except, except death. <laughs> so make sure you time it out well. You could always disarm them and take the glove away first, but we're not in the business for that right now. Dominance has changed. That's a very good upgrade from what it was before. But dominance can actually be a counter. It's a very, very 50-50 counter because it's very deadly but dominance can work. So with dominance, you have to really run around the edges when you have a rob user chasing you. You have to run the edges and kind of fake out the rob user to where they chase you and you have that speed boost. Once you do that, they're gonna try to use the cutoff lane. It can work. You just have to be very, very selective on where you run. Link is actually probably gonna be the second glove that is able to kill you. Honestly, looks like a new background. If you are able to slap the rob user beforehand and then they go in their ability, you are absolutely able to reset and kill the rob coming after you. That is the second way a rob can die. This has a new banner. That looks really cool. Rattlebone seems different. <laughs> <laughs> but you could control Larry. So in a way, this can actually be a counter. So with the new controllable Larry's, you can actually save yourself from dying from a Rob because the Rob can't jump up high enough to be able Oh wait, never mind. Okay, so the Rob can definitely jump high enough. I lied. <laughs> Just faster, Rob or Larry. Oh, Larry for sure is a lot faster than a Rob user. Use your Larry and skedaddle out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Larry just, uh, eh, just kind of running. <laughs> now we're on to charge. You just have to charge away from wherever you're being chased from. <laughs> just use your ability and skedaddle out of there. Rob ain't gonna be able to chase you and make it back in time. Next up on the counter list is Tycoon. If you are able to get a Tycoon built up enough to where you get a speed boost, you can absolutely evade a Rob user. The Tycoon user just skedaddles on out of there. <laughs> they just hit the running man. Rob will never, ever, ever be able to chase them and catch up. So any effects like confusion Fusion, if you hit them prior to them going to their form will absolutely work. Can you glitch a rob user while they're in their ability? What happens if a rob user uses it during glitch? They use this, no works. So what happens if you're going up and you use it? Oh, you just fall out. <laughs> <laughs> so Rob is a counter to glitch. The next counter on this list is fish. As soon as you see a Rob user coming near you, flop out of there. <laughs> they won't be able to catch you. Bait them out, run away for a while, use the fish glove. You can fly everywhere you need to. The Rob user will never be able to catch you. No matter how many angles they try to catch, it won't work. So Obby can be a counter if you have a pre-built Obby. So the test with Obby is to see whether or not you can climb a ladder which you cannot, you cannot touch any bit of an obby. So, obby is a counter to rob. Default and obby, a counter. <laughs> what a day. So what happens with voodoo? If you are able to slap and make a voodoo doll of a rob user before they use their ability, what happens when they do use their ability? Does it destroy the clone? Also, can a rob eat a voodoo doll? So we'll wait, we'll go into our ability. Ah, uh, it destroys the clone. Oh, it showed back up. Oh, interesting. So when the Rob user runs into the clone, I think it will definitely oof the user over there. Yeah, it just drags them all the way over. So Voodoo with its upgraded banner does not counter. It's just interesting. So Leash has a brand new banner. That's pretty sick. Oh, so I can use my ability while leashed. Uh, you still get dragged around. You have zero ability to move while you're in this ability. If an event happens while you're leashed and Rob is able to stand up, what happens? It becomes a tug of war contest. It uh, intriguingness. So the leash counter is interesting. It works if you can slap them prior and you can actually drag that Rob around as like a personal little bomb. <laughs> if you drag, 
<laughs> if you drag it perfectly, but uh, it could be really tough to do that. The next counter on this list is Sparky. If you can get past the slow start of Sparky, you can easily outrun a Rob user and wait for their ability to end before you hit somebody. They can easily outrun a Rob and not get killed unless you run directly into it like that. They're way too fast to be able to be caught. Now, Boogie, I'm gonna have to find a clip real quick. Super fun mode, my clip has corrupted, so I'll just tell you what happened. When the user is using Boogie and casts down the ball, if a Rob user is already in the Rob form they'll walk into it but the animation will try to play but it will slow down the rob user they can still suck in somebody and kill them but they are walking really slow so as a boogie user this is a counter you can place it down and run away you can easily use a recall to rewind time if you've been running for a while now if you've been sitting in the same spot the rob user is definitely going to sit there and wait for you but if you've been running a long way and rob's been chasing you a long way as soon as you hit the e button you should be able to escape gonna go ahead and use their ability to escape. Oh yes, they go back and the ability of Rob is done and they can no longer catch up. So recall is absolutely a counter. Next up on the counter list, we have Psycho. All right, so does the flight ability, are you able to go through the Rob? No, no you're not. Okay, so if a Psycho user slaps a Rob and the Rob uses their ability, they can still be dragged over, but it has to be fast. So the only way I could see Psycho being like a really good use is if it's working with a Rob user, you as a Psycho would go and slap the Rob and then you would stand with somebody in between you and then you would call Rob over while their ability is active so that it hits a user. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to mention, I don't know if Boogies is new, but Recall's banner is new and it's fire. The Psycho banner, I believe I commented on that. The Kraken banner, I think is new. The hammer is different. The Cameras, I don't know actually. I don't know anything anymore. So what happens with counter? What happens if a Rob user runs into you while you're countering? Or what happens when a Rob user slaps and uses their ability? Nothing. It bypasses counter. <laughs> All right, so what happens when... Oh, okay, this is uh, slightly odd. <laughs> you still take knock... Whoa, what the... <laughs> What? So this is the one punch. Oh yeah, that's so interesting. So this is another glove that has the ability to kill the Rob glove. Now what happens with the third animation? Okay, here we go. Oh, so it bypasses one of the three counters. And now for the final, what happens when you have a Rob going up against a Rob? <laughs> Yo, my eyes! <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is the counters for the Rob Glove. This glove is really fun. I highly recommend you do that boss battle. It's such a fun boss battle. It can get frustrating. You can die a lot. It happens. Just look at it like a fun adventure, and it's a really hard quest. But let me know which counters you thought were the best, which ones you thought were meh, which ones surprised you. Let me know your thoughts. But other than that, I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you are watching this. Again, shout out to the awesome people people here helping me. You guys were clutch. Thank you so much. But other than that, I shall see the rest of you in the next one. Later! <laughs>